Who the fuck did I marry? New update. Today is Monday, February 26, 2024. Earlier today, Legion's older brother, Chris, reached out to my friend, Tracy Tripp, an attorney here in Metro Atlanta. He called her firm to ask how he can get in contact with me. Tracy, being the friend that she is, basically had the attitude of, I don't know you. You're going to have to verify. Remember, trust, but verify. Chris did exactly that. On the phone, he verified, because I was on speakerphone when she called me, that he was, in fact, the older brother. I felt comfortable. I called him from my personal phone. I called him at 2.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He and I spoke, and there were two things that he asked for me to clear up. Here it is. Number one, Legion's mother passed away first. His father passed away a few years later. It was at the father's funeral that Legion brought his ex-wife, and apparently there was an altercation of some kind between Legion and his older brother. They have not seen each other since the father's funeral. The information that I initially gave in my 50-part series was that they have not seen each other since the mother's funeral. So I want to clarify, they have not seen each other since the father's funeral. Secondly, Chris wanted me to also let you all know that their parents, though they are passed away, the parents did everything they could to get Legion psychiatric help. At one point, they were taking him to different therapists and psychologists. He's been diagnosed as a kid with both bipolar and schizophrenia. I did not know this. Chris informed me today, Monday, February 26th, during that phone call, that their father came out of retirement to help pay for the medications. And as Legion got older, he refused to take them. Did not know that. I say all this to say, that Chris gave me permission to go ahead and relay this message to everyone to clear up some things that were said in the 50 part series. He also had a message for me. He said, we support you. The family is not mad at you. We've known how he is for years. You can expose that motherfucker. So thank you, Chris. I told him I would make this video to clarify exactly what he said. And he told me that if you or any friends know the family personally up in Philly, Chris has a message for you. The captain is loose. Apparently you all should know what that means if you know the family. I say all this to say again, I take responsibility and be accountable for the series that I put out, that 50 part series. So if I said something that was incorrect, I have no issue making sure that I correct it as best I can. However, let me be very clear, ladies and gentlemen. I know what my ex-husband put me through. I cannot speak for anyone else. I can only speak on my experience. I realize that this story sounds absolutely outrageous, but it's true. I filmed it the way I did for a reason, because it's true. I gave you details because it's true. And I stand on that. You all have a wonderful day. And last but not least, to Chris and Tracy, I thank you. Talk to you guys soon.